I've heard tale of people making art with bleach. I don't know how it works, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna start off with a very quick swatch on a few different materials, and I'm gonna start dabbling and see what I can do with it. Ooh, smells like a laundry. Let's start off with black paper. I don't even know if this is gonna get a reaction. Bleach, paper, go on, do something. But well, what are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing, I guess. Now, I don't know if this was never gonna work because the paper itself is pigmented. So even if the bleach did something, all it could reveal under the destroyed pigment is more black paper. All right, let's bring in a sock. Ooh, 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 it is doing something. It is doing something on this paper as well. It cannot do multiple layers of bleach and get brighter as it dries. I think the answer is yes. Now, I have also heard tale of people using bleach with inks. We're just gonna put down a little bit of black ink and a swatch of bleach. Whoa! That is immediately very cool! Like boop. Oh my God, that is cool. Okay, I'm gonna go to town with bleach. Bleach and ink. Okay, I have to dabble before I dive as usual, mucking around with some different inks and basically figuring out what sort of effects I can get. Now, from the brief looking around that we did, it came highly recommended to use Parker Pen ink to create this effect. And I can see why, because there's an immediate reaction. The tiniest drop of bleach or bleach powder all the way up to big dramatic swoops with it just make the coolest effects. So I decided to get a bit experimental after my first little play, I'm hanging around with some color, specifically some acrylic based inks that I normally reserve for miniature painting. Now, from what I could tell so far, if the ink area is too wet, the bleach will overreact, which can be a cool effect. In conclusion, with my attempted galaxy sky thing, it was only really working with that Parker pen ink. So I guess the type of ink really does matter. So before moving forward blindly, I thought I would create some swatches and see what reacted with this bleach. A variety of different inks that I had at my disposal it became apparent very quickly that the two Parker pen inks I had are really the way to go. So galaxy sky attempt number two, starting with the blue ink streak in the middle and mixing out with wet ink towards black around the outsides. This stuff just reacts so quickly and the smallest droplets make quite dramatic effects. Next to muck around with some landscapes, laying down some wet black ink, I pull bleach through what I could treat as a horizon line. The immediate and dramatic clouding of this bleach effect is just so cool. I went in with the same black ink over that dry area and painted out some tree branches. Now it's at this stage, I think it's looking pretty cool. And I wanted to see if I could add a bit more depth, maybe some shadows inside where the trunk areas of the trees are. But it's also where I learned that sometimes you just gotta stop when it looks cool. Cause otherwise you ruin it and it doesn't look so cool anymore. <laughs> I overworked this one. So now with the wisdom I've gathered working in this medium so far, it's time to apply to as cool a landscape as I can muster. Starting with some dramatic snowy looking Bob Ross-esque mountains. I wanted to create a scene that had that same reflection feel that I thought it worked really cool in the last one. I wanted to be much more subtle in creating my sky and stars, maybe a moon. Came in at the end to add a little more definition to the mountains with the original black ink, which I think brought the whole thing together and I love how this piece turned out. I thought I'd give another piece a go, this time something that wasn't a landscape, which it turns out can look pretty cool pretty quickly, but I thought I'll give uh, some sort of artistic looking portrait a go. And obviously the trick in painting light on a very dark area, which is essentially what I'm doing with the bleach, is to paint highlights and basically create the form by 
the painting where the light is hitting. This is easier said than done, especially when I can't really follow a sketch and there's no undo button. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. There are some areas that I would tweak, but I sort of can't. I'm not super happy with the shape or how I ended up adding a little more than I, I should have. But I certainly think uh, given enough experience, this sort of aesthetic could look really, really cool. So I'm really glad I mucked around with bleach with ink and paper, which I originally didn't think to do because I was just going to do it on cloth and material. I learned a lot about it and it's a really instant and very cool effect. Definitely worth kinesthetically learning because some of it did work, some of it didn't. And of course, you sort of only really get one go at it. And this is a piece that I really like, except it's just not quite something I love. Whereas my landscape, I really do love. I think the outcome is really cool and it's just with two materials, black ink, and bleach. So that was really fun, but now it's time to do what I originally had intended to do and play with bleach on clothes. First started mucking around with bleach on material by painting something. I didn't have, I did not have a plan when I started uh, and I went too dramatic too quickly. So I thought, okay, I'm drawing a comet. I'm drawing a comet coming out of the sky with trees down below. But the shirt absorbed everything I painted. So here's my blobby shirt. Okay, so I thought if accidentally blobby isn't looking great, how about intentionally blobby, huh? How about that? This is my attempt at a, a tie dye, but it, I guess it's tie bleach dye. I don't know. I just bunched up a whole bunch of different areas of the shirt with elastic bands and tied all of it together with an elastic band and dipped it in a watery mix of bleach covering more area of the shirt and then a pure bleach just on the ends. Hopefully I figured this would create a bit of a pooling out, a, a branching out of the intensity in a tie-dye feel. <laughs> Turns out the, the bleach effect on material takes a lot longer than it does with ink on paper. This whole process that you've just watched of it changing color took place over at least 40 minutes. Spread out, it looks all right, uh, but a little bit like um, someone's been eating lasagna aggressively. So I thought I'd just amplify that with some more spray bottle stuff. And then in the end, just sort of splattered. And that I thought looks pretty cool. I have no idea what th this ended up being. Uh, I didn't know what I was going for, but I think the result is Fine. All right, that's enough mucking around and, and artsy fartsy crap. Let's get cool. Let's make something badass. I attempted to paint a skull with bleach. This time I gently chalked an outline and using the bleach, I slowly, much more slowly than before, built up the highlighting on this skull. This was a very slow process because too much too soon and you'd get a very dramatic effect and soak in a lot of liquid and end up just looking blotchy. So aside from being really subtle, I also had to wait for the bleach to take effect. So this is, you know, it was painstaking, but it was working. In the end, I thought I'd do some of the final punchy effects with a spray bottle and I covered up the eyes and nose cavity with paper so that none of the bleach would get in those areas and they would remain a true black, both of which worked really well. The keeping those areas black worked really well and the adding the punch and highlighting with the spray worked really well too. I'm actually really happy with how this one's turned out. And last but not least, I figure, you know what, if I'm gonna be mucking around with designs on, on shirts, I might as well make my own line of fashion. I'm a fashionista now. In conclusion, you can definitely get varied results. Some not so great, some potentially pretty cool. It's sort of hard to tell what they look like without them on though. So, I mean, let's give the people what they want, shall we?
obviously not all of it worked, but the ones that did worked pretty well. This is pretty cool. I love it and it's mine. I have my own fashion line. If you do like my arty design, let me know, because maybe I should make it merch. If this video gets 50,000 likes or a million views, I am going to destroy my giant black backdrop by painting giant bleach artworks on it. I'm fully willing to do it. You let me know if you want it. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And until next time, I'll see you later. I don't mind these.